everybody, welcome to Wine Library TV. I am your host, Gary Vayner Chuck, and this is The Thunder Show, aka WLTV, the internet's most prestigious pop the collar wine program. And today we are going to do sake because sake is long overdue. The hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of empty promises via email that I've given out for the last year about doing a sake episode is probably and finally, yeah probably, coming to an end. Um, one thing you should know is that about 25% of sake are the premium sakis in the world. About 75% of the sakis out there are really commodity, non-premium sakis and um, there are four categories that break down sake into premium levels. Uh, the Jumanai Jinjo and the Jinjo Janjo and I can go really into all of that and I will in a little bit but what I really want to focus on are four premium sakis today rolling in at very heavy price points from 35 we're starting with a $14 one. Lying out, he's, he's such a character. He's wearing a Jets jersey and you know what? I'm gonna make a big statement right off the bat. Today is the day before Thanksgiving and tomorrow the Jets play on Thanksgiving and I was wondering how do I get all the Vaniacs besides the love they have for me to root for the Jets and so we're gonna incentivize it. We haven't done it all year, Mott, so we're gonna do it because I want everybody rooting for the Jets tomorrow. I want you to get angry, I want emotion, I want you to be into the game. It's like, you know, gambling gets you into the game. If the Jets beat the Cowgirls tomorrow, which is highly unlikely because the Cowboys look amazing and very impressive. And we're the lowly Jets, although coming off a pretty shocking victory on uh, over your Pittsburgh Steelers. Um, what we will do is, if the Jets are able to secure a victory, we will do a Black Friday super sale. We will send out an email to all of the people on our mailing list and the people that have left comments, no, just all the people on our mailing list, so you gotta be on the mailing list, we will send out, because we're gonna do a free shipping code through the weekend, but always the locals come out, Mott, when I do free shipping and say, what about us? What I will do is I will pick 10 products of premium quality and reduce them to cost. Who's a good guy? You're the best. So, if the New York Jets are able to propel themselves to a victory on Turkey Day, you, the Maniac Nation, will be able to secure yourself free shipping and 10 premium 92 plus major press and higher wines, 10 of them, at dead cost, so locals can come in and we'll run that through the weekend. That will be announced on Friday, um, because Thursday, you know, the game and the game's over and we're closed, so we can't execute. So Friday morning, 9 a.m. Eastern Time, we'll put out an email with the free shipping code and the 10 products at dead cost for the locals as well. And if you're not a local, you can also order that wine and have it shipped to you for free. I mean, talk about America. Now, Vaniacs, root for your New York Jets. I love it, I love it, I love it. Now, sake glasses are very intriguing. I actually went to a sake seminar a few weeks ago and they use something, not exactly this, since this does say Bacardi Limon, that's pretty funny, but they use something very similar to this for sake tastings and usually a tumbler component for premium sake tastings and the big sake masters in Japan and so, does anybody else, I mean, do, I feel like I'm like in a video game, or I actually feel like this, you know, it looks like a Japanese like toy, like, oh, a new Gary with two Zaki's. Anyway, action figure dreams, I know. I'm sick. I do have a bobblehead. Um, these sakis are very, very premium, um, very exciting. And let's get them, let's get into the first uh, first wine, uh, sake. The Tozao uh, Snow Maiden, 14 US dollars. And uh, this is 88 points from Steven Tanzer. Um, and this is a uh, grade Jumanai, uh, J-U-N-M-A-I. And uh, let's give this a, uh... did you just see that? Mm -hmm. I'm not used to this kind of glass. See, that's what happens, man. I ruined the shirt. Lizzie's gonna be upset. It smells good though. Let's see what's going on here. Little spillage on the sake show. Let's give us a little bit of a sniffy sniff. Did you see that? This is out of control. You think this is the first show of WLTV? Nice kind of creamy, uh, you know what this has? Uh, peach sickles or cream sickles? You know, with like the orange uh, cream, uh, cream sickle. That's what's really coming through on the nose. Very nice. Also, Ben Gay. It's almost got a little bit of a Ben Gay kind of action going on in the nose. So a little Bengay, maybe taking an orange creamsicle, sticking it in Bengay and giving it a sniffy sniff. That's what's going on here. Let's give this a whirl. Now sake is multi-fermented um, rice. 
very sim similar process to beer. But what and what the process does, the uh, it removes the proteins. and the oils and just leaving starch. The starch is then, um, this is good. Excuse me for one sec. The starch is then go, go, goes through an enzyme process and is converted to sugar. Sugar to alcohol, sake time. So um, very similar to the beer process, couple differences um, there and the phone. I wonder if that's Lizzie, Ma, can you check? Um, so, uh, back to Nagori uh, Snow Maiden. This is a $14 sake that's got some real creaminess to it. It's got a tropical component, like a mango. It's dead. It's my dad. Let's see? Okay, it's fine. Um, I'll call him back. Sorry, dad. It's not for Um You saw old school Shashi, you know how he gets. Anyway, um, Snow Maiden, um, very fruity, very mango esque on the flavor profile. I get almost like a papaya mango component on the, on the mouthfeel. Very clean, very delicious. I mean, sake is good. I, I'm, I'm into sake, I like it. Um, I get a little bit of a herbal kind of component. Very pretty. Um, good, you know, nice 14.9% alcohol, but you're not tasting it because the fruit is very ripe. The Bengay creamsicle nose with the mango and papayas on the flavor, tell me that is not a beverage that you want to consume at a very fair price of $14. I'm gonna give this sake 88 plus points and I really feel that it is an exceptional entry level um, sake. You need my keys? You're gonna move my car? Excuse me for one second. It's crazy outside, Vaniacs. Sorry, Vaniacs. I have to move Gareth's car. <laughs> um, all right, so that, that's the first sake. I mean, I think it's a really good entry level. I think it's a very fair price. A lot of people can't afford, you know, what we're going into, 35, 55, 60. So it, it's a very fair and honest price point for a sake. 14 bones. Uh, I definitely think a uh, uh, really good start. I mean, I, I really like that. Really nice. Let's move on. This is the Mukun Shadows of Katono. And this is a grade of Jumanai Jinjo. Um, and uh, this is a very, very small producer making some real premium stuff. This is the one that I've really been, you know, you're supposed to really kind of shake it up on too. That's what, when it gets really good. It's not the cap for it, but. I've been dying to try this one. Um, this is the one that actually out of all the uh, sakis, most people have been emailing me about and asking me to try. So it's got the pretty blue bottle. To be honest with that, look at all the look at all the caps here. Let's give it a little bit of a snippy sniff. Yep. Now this stuff, you know, maybe it's the, the components in my mind that make me think this, but this comes across to me as a tea, like an herbal tea kind of component, which I'm liking quite a bit. There's some graininess. Um, you know, I love when grape nuts hits the scene on white wines. Well, I'm getting a little bit up here as well, so I'm getting a grape nuts tea component which quantifies it as a classic Gary Vaynerchuk breakfast. Um, I'm enjoying that, so let's give it a whirl. Totally different experience. This actually tastes exactly like mushroom soup broth. Like the like clean mushroom, you know, not the thick, just the clean mushroom soup soup broth, very much so actually. I get some dirty leaves and escargot flavors on the palate as well with a citrus blast. So hey folks, how about getting some mushrooms soup, throw some escargot in there and some dirty leaves, but you get a lemon citrus twist on the finish. Um, that's where this is coming across. This is a much more complex um, um, Saki, um, wow, this is wild. I mean, you talk about something that comes in a like fluorescent blue bottle that has a creamy component, and it really tastes like mushroom soup. It's really quite wild, almost like a um, and, and the escargot. Really interesting. Very dominant flavors in this sake. Um, 
that are that are really obvious. I mean, this is like telltale mushroom soup and the citrus blast at the end. Escal goes a little bit more subtle, but I would really say that even an amateur level uh, wine drinker or palate driven person who's ever had broth of mushroom soup is going to pinpoint this flavor. Very distinct, very good. Being a huge mushroom fan, I'm gonna score this sake 90 points. Really depends on uh, who you are uh, and what you like. 35 bones is kind of pressing the uh, the price point that I think it's worth. Not so good. And uh, and that's kind of what it is. It's got like this whole spill here. It's kind of like weird. Anyway, let's move on on the sake episode and let's get into this Takasago uh, Jinga Sijusu, excuse me, Shizuku Divine Droplets. Maybe I should leave it at that. Divine Droplets. 55 US dollars. 94 points, Stephen Tanzer, and this is also a Junmai uh, Dijanjo uh, grade. Now you'll notice on this, this is completely clear, whereas the last two were on the cloudy level. This seems more like I'm taking a couple of shots with my uncles, like on Thanksgiving tomorrow. Uh, let's give it a little bit of a sniffy sniff. Now this is just downright awesome. Wow, this almost has a cotton candy kind of aspect on the nose. Um, this is awesome. This smells beautiful. This is like an elegant perfume. I mean, really, this smells like premium perfume that like Lizzie said, go out and buy this perfume, and I smell I'm like oh, 300 bucks for this, but, but it smells right. That's what this smells like. I mean, this is just a gorgeous nose. Very fragrant, very clean. I'm getting uh, cucumbers and uh, fresh leaves and, and some... Uh, a little spritz of lime and uh, sugar cane. Really sugar cane and honeycomb cereal. Cereal's on my mind. Really pretty nose, let's give it a whirl. Mm. What's the alcohol in this? Alcohol content, 15.6, yeah. It's coming, I mean, these are serious beverages. This is very clean. I really feel like I'm sucking in H2O, that's water. I'm sucking in, you know, like, like just like clean, pure air. Um, really, that's what I feel like. I feel like I'm in, in a, a very high, expensive airliner that only pumps in fresh, purified air. Um, very clean, pretty flavors. Uh, I get a peach, skin component on the palate, which is just beautiful and a little fuzzy. Um, I'm really, really feeling this divine droplets. I feel like it. It's like divine droplets. I mean, talk about begging right now for like being like at a resort, pulling out a fish and just like biting its head off and just start eating the rawness of that fish and then pouring this down with it is just so gorgeous. The cleanliness of this. I get a melon uh, component, uh, dinya, it's a Russian word, uh, cantaloupe. It's amazing how sometimes my mind still thinks completely in Russian first. Uh, cantaloupe, beautiful cantaloupe, fresh flavor on the finish. This is beautiful, elegant, and very pure. I'm gonna score this sake 92, 93 points. I'm really feeling it. This is special. This is something I definitely will add to my collection um, and will really enjoy sharing with friends and teaching them because this is really awesome. This is using uh, Yamada Nishiki rice, which is very premium stuff. Um, this is... Come on, try this. Tell me what you think. You might not like it. It's kind of alcohol. I mean, or you may like it. You like it? It's, you could be slamming it down when <laughs> yeah, you're drinking this. You get caught in a hurry. <laughs> and finally, this is the uh, Nanbu Bijin Ancient Pillars Saki. This is graded uh, Junami uh, Dijano as well, and this is from Yamada, uh, Yamada Nishiki Rice. This is 60 US dollars and uh, 94 points Tanzer, and also another clean. Uh, version without the cloudiness. I like the clouds, they're creamy. Again, 
This has beautiful color. And this is for Saki, for all the Saki fans that couldn't be with us. I was like, it's three bucks. Let's give it a sniffy sniff. Now this has like an avocado kind of component on the nose. Um, very fresh as well. Very, in I mean these are, this is just really eye-opening and, and fun. Beautiful bouquets. I've always traditionally not really gotten very heavy into the noses. Usually they're in the, you know, the, you know, where I go to the New York City sushi places and there are these weird little things and I just kind of pound them down. But this is really, really great. Um, very clean again as well. Really, you know, it's funny. I don't know if it's the packaging or my mindset. The aromas and the polish and the overall vibe of these sakis reminds me of like the premium goods you would get in like a Mexican resort, like four star hotel. You know, like the, the, the soap is nicer, the hand cream is nicer, the massage, the aromas. There's something very zen about this whole process. Um, I'm getting relaxed. You can see even my mindset and my tone is a little bit more chill, right? It's kind of weird. Let's give it a whirl. Mm. Ooh, this is good. Ooh, this is real good. Totally different than all the rest. Again, this is like old school Snapple. That's where I'm going with this. Let me go with, go with me here. Do you remember old school Snapple was a white beverage but flavored? Before they did iced teas, I'm going way back, Ma, when it was like soda, when root beer was clear. And it was like, do you remember that? Like, like all their drinks were clear, but you got the flavors anyway. That's what's, got, you remember now? That's what's going on with this. This is so berrylicious, kind of like bootylicious. It's very berrylicious. And, um, and I'm getting raspberries and strawberries and cherries, yet it's clear, it's white, folks. I don't see the pink, red flavors. Very, very, very fruity. Fruit punch in my mouth, exploding at a rapid level. Very clean and very much containing. It's a 17.9 alcohol, yet completely under control. Kind of grasped within its structure. I get beautiful, um, what are bamboo? There's like bamboo flavors going on here. Also big green leaves feel like they're like on the, I feel like I'm drinking this out of like a handmade cup. I feel, what am I, Tom Hanks with a beard and I made a, like a bowl out of like leaves, big strong green leaves and drink it. I don't know, this is awesome. This is, this is actually more of an experience than it is just a beverage. I'm really feeling the ancient pillars. These are like comic book names. Um, I'm gonna go 95 points. I'm gonna one up you, Steven Tanzer. This is for me. 60 bones, sorry pal, you were so close, but you're gonna be second best and I'm taking a bottle of this home. Heck, let's be big time Mott. I'm taking both home. Um, really great experience. Obviously, sake is an acquired taste. Um, I've been drinking a lot of bad sake over the last 24 to 36 months. A lot more good sake. Uh, a lot to learn within the sake category. I could have gotten very nerdy. I kind of wanted to go through the flavors and experiences more with you. Plus, I got to get downstairs and it's crazy down there. Um, but all in all, tremendous opportunity. Vine collection, connection, excuse me, excuse me, deserves enormous amounts of credit for bringing in these premium, premium sakis. I mean, some of the grades of these are in the two to three percentile of all sakis made fall into this category. So we're drinking the best of the best here on Thunder Show, and that's a good feeling. Question of the day, what is your favorite sake? And if you've never had one, what are you waiting for? Don't forget, if you want to be my guest, here's me, and you will be right here. Mott, right here. Sit down here next to me, Mott, real quick, just to give everybody perspective of where, you know, so this will be you, this will be me, we'll be hugging, and all this good stuff, squeezing, whatever you need. Mott, get out of here, it's my show. Anyway, you can be a guest with me if you widget me up and you are part of the blog. Oh yes, one last thing, people have been asking me. Can they put it on their websites if it's not a blog? Like a lot of people have our lawyers and doctors. Hey, if you, you listen to why not? Some of those widgets are very respectable. You're not gonna ruin your site. So if you're construction or real estate owner, whatever you are, and you've got a site, absolutely just put your URL in there. It's not just for blogs. And uh, we will bring you on Thunder Show live drawing December 5th, right? And, or 6th, 5th is last day, 6th, right? And drawing 6th, anyway. You know, I don't know that stuff. Just click the link because folks, have a great Thanksgiving. We will have the episode tomorrow, the four pack, because you 
I wanted to mention to open the wines, the Pinot, the Pinot that is in your four pack tomorrow. Open it up about an hour, but then remember I said it was cool to taste it along the way. So tomorrow, open the Pinot, taste it when you first pop it, and then go back to an hour or two when you're ready to start taping and watch taping. You want to tape? You can tape. Watching the Thunder Show. Because you, with a little bit of me, we're changing the wine world and the sake world.